here with Mike, uh, one of the general managers, and uh, this is my first time here, and it's pretty cool. So, walking in here, I see the volleyball courts outside, a huge patio. I saw that you do corporate events and parties and uh, holiday parties and things like that. Just kind of tell me a little bit about what goes on here and what you can do here. Just, you just summed it up. Did I? <laughs> well, you got a huge patio, which in season is just absolutely just amazing to see. It's certainly one of the most yeah. more popular areas in town because um, you've got the chance to watch the volleyball. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the three sand volleyball courts here, and actually over on the other side of the property there, there's three more volleyball courts underneath okay. the tent. So we do volley sand volleyball year round. Okay. Um, you, you referenced, uh, well, about the patio, we, we do live entertainment on the patio five nights of the week. And on uh, Saturday nights, we do dance bands on our main stage here in, really? the, in the main room. So it's packed in here on the weekends. And it's, just, well, Indeed. it's packed right Indeed. now. It's Tuesday for lunch, and it was packed when we walked in. The, uh, we're fortunate. You yeah. know, there, there uh, obviously are a lot of uh, you know, businesses in this area, and uh, we, we're fulfilling a need. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're, Matt was, was uh, he knew what he was doing when he picked this location. Right. right. Uh, So here again with Mike, and, and Mike, I understand this started out as all outdoor volleyball or sand volleyball, right? Well, you had the volleyball and also part of the complex, we have a football, soccer, and lacrosse complex here, which is the original King Louis, which yeah. had all four of those. And uh, things have, have morphed uh, over, the, over the time since we've been here. We've added more sand volleyball courts, and we've actually have indoor golf simulators on the property now. Um, okay. So we, you know, in the wintertime, those are booked almost every day. We even have golf simulator leagues uh, that, that play three nights a week, I believe. So it's, it's become a total <laughs> entertainment complex. Entertainment, entertainment food Absolutely. complex, music complex. Indeed, we're trying. All in one place, the blind squirrel. Absolutely. Love it. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate well, thank it. Thank you all. So we got the wings. It's one of the house favorites. It's got a, it's a fried wing. It's got some seasoning on it. I can't, I don't know what it is, but let's dig in. It's also very hot at this moment. So, mm. crisp, very juicy. A little bit of heat. Not too bad. I can't put my finger on it though. I'm not sure what that dry rub is. Yeah, Rob is right. It's, it's got a different type of batter on it. They're crispier than most wings uh, in the Louisville area. I really like them. I've had one already. I'm going to try it with some ranch. But they're hot. They have great texture. I like the crispiness. Uh, it's a little different than what you normally get. So it's good. I'm here with Mike at the Blind Squirrel, and we're just sampling the wings. Craig's getting ready to eat all of them, though. <laughs> And uh, so, Mike, these wings, they're uh, very crispy, they're fried, they're delicious. 
and I asked you uh, what's what's in the, what's the secret recipe? What's the dry rub? Well, we I mean it's a special dry rub, and I will tell you that that Eric, our managing partner, seriously did some, a lot of research when he when he did this, and I tell you it comes from a combination of places from around the region. And we sampled and we sampled. It was a terrible process. <laughs> um, and we finally agreed on, on the mix that we use. And so we, we've yeah. got a proprietor that mixes it for us. And that's what we put on the, on the wings. And it's uh, so you can <laughs> incredibly get this, popular. This dry rub comes nowhere else except at the blind squirrel then. Correct. Love it. Right. All right. True. Craig here. I got the blind squirrel favorite. Well, I think we, a lot of us got the blind squirrel favorite. This is the strawberry salad. Uh, and then I got black and chicken put on top. So uh, it looks really good. Get a little strawberry, get a little chicken. It's great. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, Rob here. I've got the Heavenly Barbecue Burger. It's got onion straws, pepper jack cheese, pulled pork, bacon, and of course barbecue sauce. And it's a half pound burger. I like mine uh, medium. So let's dig in. There's no easy way to do this, is there? It's, um, it's gonna be messy. All right, here we go. All right, All right a little bit right here. But, oh man, that is so good. Cooked perfectly, crisp bacon. The pulled pork is dynamic. Barbecue sauce and the crispy onion straws. Those are really good too. All right, Buffy here. I have the Borzen chicken sandwich. I absolutely love Borzen cheese and it's on a pretzel bun. And then I got a side Caesar salad. And I love that they put the huge big chunks of shaved Parmesan on it. That's like my favorite thing. So this one has bacon caramelized red onions and the boars and cheese sauce. Everything's better with bacon, right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> when it drips out the bottom, that's a sign that it's a really good sandwich. Just saying. Very good. Highly recommend it. Katie. And Katie, I understand that you've been here for a very long time. Yes. How long have you been here? Four years. Four years? Yes. Well, the restaurant's like four years old, right? Yes. So you were here from the beginning? Yeah, I was the original hired staff in July, and I've been here ever since. I'm a veteran. What do you love working about here at the Blind Squirrel? Oh, gosh. I mean, it's a great atmosphere. Um, we always have live bands and live music, so it's always fun to dance around um, and just be in the... It's like I'm hanging out. It's not really like I'm ever truly working. I love that. And you know you get great service when a place has employees like Katie when they love being here just yes. because of the atmosphere. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thank and you very much. Yeah, no problem.